Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's video, I have a fantastic tutorial. We're going to be going over NFTGenerator.art, a fantastic program making generating art so much easier. I know I've done videos in the past on how to auto generate art, but this is by far the most noob friendly way, the easiest way possible with no migraines at all. I know a lot of people were having issues with the past methods and this will clear all of that up because it is so simple it is made to be easy before we do get into that though if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel it would help me out a ton as we're trying to reach our end goal of 100,000 subscribers so if you're into nft related videos make sure you subscribe that being said let's get right into this video nft generator.art is a fantastic program that allows you to auto generate art with no hassle at all so go to their website using the link down in the description if you use that link it really helps me out so i do appreciate that so once you get to the page you just want to click get started and you will be brought to this page right here. Alrighty, so let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do when you're on this page, you have the background. So obviously every single NFT collection ever is going to have their background. So I'm using some assets I used in my old NFT Sauce Kingdom tutorial, and I created a few new ones just for the sake of this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is drag in the two backgrounds I have, and actually I'm gonna accidentally drag in one just to show something. So we're gonna drag those in as you can see it accidentally dragged in this circle well all you have to do is click it and it removes it you'll notice that there is a 50 percent rarity on each of these it's very cool as this website allows you to change around the rarity of every single asset that you have additionally when you export everything it will complete it with the json file so it has all the metadata which will be very important later down the line in your nft projects life cycle so to add a new layer what you want to do is go to the leftover here on new layer and type in what your layer is going to be called this is going to be the body for me so we're going to call it body and then hit this plus icon and bam you have a new layer then we'll add in all of our bodies so for this example we have these circles that i really created in like two minutes just for the sake of this tutorial and bam easy as that so we're going to keep doing this process until we have all of the layers that we want onto this application Alrighty, beautiful. We have all of the layers added in. And if you ever want to preview those, you can just click this preview button right here and I'll show you a little preview of what your NFT is currently looking like. As you can see, it looks awesome and that took no time at all. But there's even more that you can do with this website. So the first thing is the project settings over here. You're obviously gonna wanna change that. For our example, let's look at it again with the preview. We have this little circle. I don't know what we're gonna call it. We'll call them circle punks. I don't know, that literally took two seconds. Don't question the name. The project description, this is what would be on like your OpenSea and it will all be put into the metadata. So I highly suggest you do fill this out because this will be on the JSON files that get outputted. So for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just call this the circle punks for viral kingdom. The collection size, you can go anywhere from like one to 10,000 in this size if you really want to. Obviously, I don't even think I have enough assets to create 10,000 uh, completely unique ones. But let's say we'll, we'll go with maybe a thousand. I don't even know if I have enough assets for a thousand, probably 500, I don't know. The next thing I wanna do is change around the rarity settings. So I wanna make the orange background way, way more rare than the blue background that we have right here. You can do this by clicking the background layer and then going to rarity settings. From here, you can easily change the percentages like so. It is so easy. I can't believe how easy this site makes it to work with. So we're gonna make the blue background actually super common and we're going to make the orange background very rare. So we'll leave it at that. And as you can see, orange is now at 10% and the blue is at around 90%, meaning the blue will probably show up nine times out of 10. 
you can do this for every single layer so for the body let's say we want to make that orange one super rare let's make the green one a little higher it just makes everything so easy you can play around with what you want more rare what you want less rare and you can do that with all of these different layers so we're just going to kind of play around with these now let's say we wanted to make it so that there wasn't a hat option because right now it's either 50 percent you get this halo or 50 percent you get this pirate hat but let's say i wanted to make an option where you don't get anything well that's incredibly easy all you have to do is send in a blank image like so that just has nothing on it and is a straight png and then go to the rarity settings and then let's set that to around 50 percent so that it's more rare to get a hat you can do the same thing with the accessories option as well and bada boom bada bam now let's say you accidentally messed up and you actually want the eyes to go over the mouth you can do this by simply dragging the layer over one another it is so easy to do now something really cool that you can actually do is add a block list and what this does is that let's say that my mouth is going to be constructing the eyes. Let's say the mouth is so big that it takes over the eyes. I purposely made this art so it wouldn't do that, but let's say it is. What you can do is actually select that mouth too. Let's say that's the mouth that we're having issues with. And it's now on mouth two right here. Then you can go to files and then check off the eyes that it was going to mess up so let's say our mouth 2 is going to mess up eyes 2 you can actually block it so that mouth 2 and eyes 2 will never be generated on the same nft this is such an amazing feature that wasn't even in any of my past tutorials and could have been so helpful because the amount of times that i would have layers that wouldn't go together because they were too big like there is hats that would get in the way of the eyes in my past projects but this makes sure none of that happens because you can just block them out so that's something really cool that i hope you guys take advantage of because this is the only way i've seen people be able to do this unless you know some absolute advanced coding knowledge that i do not know but yeah with that being said i think we're done here we got all of the percentages that we want now to actually generate the art itself before we go and generate i just wanted to show you guys something if you change the collection size to something that is too extreme and you don't have enough assets to fill this collection size so for this example we're going to set it to 10,000. obviously we don't have enough assets to clear 10,000, but it's actually going to give us a warning here when we hit pay and it's going to say we cannot generate 10,000 images and you can only do 1294. That means with all of the assets that I have, it can only put out 1294. So what we're gonna do is type in into the collection size, one, two, nine, three. We'll do one less and then we'll go to pay and it should allow us through. Bam, now we're on the final page. It shows you all the percentages on the left side and then you just wanna fill out this form and then you can auto generate your collection. And bam, it is uploading our images. Upload is complete. We're gonna download that and it's going to take around two hours to generate. But once this is done generating, I'll show you the end output of it so that it, so that there's proof that this actually works. And yeah, that is how to auto-generate using the easiest website ever. There will never be an easier way to auto-generate art. And this is some revolutionary technology right here. So I highly suggest you guys go and check out nftgenerator.art. Make sure you click the link in the description. It will help me out a ton. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and hey, maybe check out my Patreon to give me some extra support. That would mean a ton. As always, peace. See you guys later. Maybe.